Conservative radio star Rush Limbaugh apologizing this weekend for his offensive description of a Georgetown law student who testified before Congress on contraception. The apology was immediately touted as a badge of honor by some on the left, but now one top liberal commentator is telling her flank not so fast in the celebrations. Kirsten Powers suggesting that some of Limbaugh's loudest critics might want to look in the mirror. Ms. Powers is with me now. She's a columnist for the DailyBeast.com and a Fox News contributor. Kirsten, welcome. Hello, Megan. So this is interesting because this is, you know, it started as something about li religious liberty versus contraception, and it's morphed into mm -hmm. something very different now about whether, yeah. in your piece, you raise the question about whether there is a double standard when it comes to calling out conservatives who say the wrong things, offensive things, and liberals who do the same. Yeah. Look, I, and I said in my column that I think what Rush Limbaugh said was extremely egregious. It's something that I think he deserves, you know, the... the out, outpouring of uh, anger about that the boycott everything I, I support all that but at the same time if you're going to get so upset about him, him you know using this term which I'm not going to use on television um, it's the S then I, it's, it starts with S <laughs> It's yes. SL um, and it ends with T. We'll leave it at that. Yes, thank you. Um, you know, then, then you have to get upset when somebody like Bill Maher, who is a major donor to uh, President Obama's uh, super PAC, he gave him a million dollars, and someone who liberals go on his show all the time, top liberals go on. I mean, Jennifer Granholm was just on his show. Russ Feingold was just on his show. Um, and so for, if, these, if you have all these liberals coming out and now saying Rush Limbaugh needs to be taken off the air for saying stuff like this, then I don't, it doesn't make sense that somebody like Bill Maher is able to go ahead and, and not only just stay on but still have all these like top Democrats and stop top liberals come on like nothing's going on like there's no problem you call him uh, Bill Maher the 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 grand poobah of media misogyny and oh, yeah. the examples you list in your piece are really epic I mean he called Sarah Palin a dumb TW blank yeah, T exactly he called her the C word yep. uh, he called uh, Sarah Palin and Congresswoman Bachman boobs and two bim bimbos yep. and on and on it goes and, and I thought it was interesting because you point out how none other than Gloria Steinem goes on his show and doesn't confront him about it but who did? Yeah Ann Coulter you know the big feminist <laughs> Ann Coulter so you know I, I think it, it, the, and the, the thing is that it's, it's hard to even repeat the things that he says on television right because they're, they're so outrageous and, and what's been particularly upsetting to me Megan has been the response that I've gotten which is to this article which is oh it's so different it's okay to call Sarah Palin all those words because she's a public person but this other woman who was in front of the you know hearing on the contraception well, she, well she's a private person it's like Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay to call somebody the C word if they're a public person. When did that happen? Mm -hmm. You know, I, it, like, like, oh, if people start calling Nancy Pelosi that, everyone would just go, oh, well, she's a public person. Oh well, you know, it, it's not okay. And Bill Maher has at attacked a woman who was a private citizen, who um, was involved in a case because she was breastfeeding and she was sort of harassed about it. And he said all sorts of horrible things about this woman. He's coming you know, and said, well, it's different woman. because I don't have sponsors. But a lot of the men you list in your article as some of the worst offenders do have sponsors. And they do seem to get a pass when they yes, say they things that are not just offensive but you know hurtful yeah. there's like a presumption that some of these women don't have any feelings from Sandra Fluke on down uh, including Sarah Palin you know she runs for office she doesn't have feelings and you went through Ed Schultz uh, yeah. who, who called Sarah Palin a bimbo and called Laura Ingram a right-wing SL same thing same term yeah. SL you you know what right now he later yeah. was forced to apologize but is is he being boycotted Keith Olbermann you talk about some of the things he has said Kirsten yeah. Well, no, and that's the point. Then, then the other thing is, oh, well, he apologized, so it's okay. And I, m my response to that is really, if somebody dropped the N-word, could they just apologize and get out of it? I don't understand why these very specific, gender-specific attacks on women are okay. It's fine to attack on a, wo a woman. Look, you know, we're all grown-ups. Go ahead and, you know, call us stupid or whatever you want. But the point is, why, why do they have to choose these very gender-specific names that they know are particularly nasty towards women? Why do you think, show... just on, on the Olbermann front, he, he said S.E. Cub should have been aborted by her parents. He said yeah. Michelle Malkin <laughs> is a mashed-up bag of meat with lipstick. And where was the yeah. outrage, Kirsten? I, I mean, why... Why? Why do they get away with it when somebody like Rush does not? Because this isn't really about 
misogyny, Megan. This is about the Democratic Party, and that's what it always comes down to. It's a proxy war for the Democratic Party. They can use it um, for the election, for part of the war on women, and they can attack Rush Limbaugh because they hate Rush Limbaugh because he's conservative. It has nothing to do with, with misogyny or sexism or anything like that, because if it did, they would flip out over Ed Schultz, over Matt Taibbi at Rolling Stone, who has said stuff that literally you cannot repeat on the air. I mean, it's so disgusting, and he's done so much more than I even included in the article. Karen told Tumulty at Washington Post has a piece up right now about the horrible things that he has said about her. Uh, you know, so look, they overlook it because they're liberal and liberal men are allowed to be misogynists, apparently. I, so I don't know. You don't think they're genuinely offended then? It's, it's, they're, they're not genuinely offended by Rush, and they're not offended when they hear Bill Maher say these things, but they I, see an opportunity when a conservative does it. Yeah, they see an opportunity. It's not that they're not offended. I do think they actually probably find it offensive. I can't imagine how you would read most of this stuff to somebody and they would say it's not offensive. My point in the article was, Okay, if you're offended, then do something about it. You can't only do it when it's a conservative. You can't just sit there quietly while Chris Matthews does really serious damage to Hillary Clinton. The first woman, you know, presidential candidate who has a chance of winning an election is just denigrated and torn apart just in the most vicious, sexist terms by him over and over. And then he kind of gives this lame apology like seven months later, eight months later, after he's already done all the damage. And then turns around and starts doing it all over again. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's the point is if you're if you're really upset about do do it something do something about it. And for Bill Maher, okay, he doesn't have sponsors. Just don't go on his show. I mean, it's very simple. If right. if, if if it's so horrible to call somebody an S L U T. You know, then it's got to be bad to call them the c-word, right, Megan? Well, I, I mean, does that make sense? I mean, I have to say, uh, on Bill Maher's show, he had a less than kind word for me at one point, and Jane Harmon, a Democrat who was sitting there, put him in his place. Uh, Gloria Steinem yeah. sitting on the couch, not so much. I think that's very interesting. Kirsten, thank you so much for coming on with your insights. Thank you, Megan.